Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm gonna be teaching you how to use one simple sound, the pentatonic scale, over a bunch of different chords to create many different sounds and colors. Before I get into it, just take two seconds, go down into the description below, and grab the free PDF that goes along with this video. That worksheet will help you not only follow along during the video, but it'll be good reference for you afterwards when you practice these concepts. First things first, what is a pentatonic scale? Well, by its name, I'm sure you can figure out pentatonic means it's a five note scale. Specifically, when you're talking about a major pentatonic scale, you're gonna be using the first, second, third, fifth, and sixth scale degrees of a major scale or a major key. For example, a C major pentatonic scale would be one, two, three, five, six in the key of C major. So those notes would be C, D, E, G, and A. There's also a minor pentatonic scale, and the numbers for that are slightly different. We have a couple altered notes. That's gonna be one, flat three, four, five, and flat seven. It's actually almost the exact same as a blues scale, except for you're omitting the sharp four in this case. There is something interesting to note between the major and minor pentatonic scales. Just like you have major scales and minor scales, and more specifically, a major scale and its relative minor scale, which is the sixth degree, natural minor, also called Aeolian, you have the same thing in pentatonic scales. If we go back to that C major key, if we take the relative minor of that, it would be A minor. So what is an A minor pentatonic scale? Well, those notes would be A, C, D, E, and G. Notice something interesting about that scale compared to the C major pentatonic scale? That's right, they're the exact same notes. The only difference is for an A minor pentatonic scale, the A is on the bottom instead of the C being on the bottom. So basically it's an inversion of the C major pentatonic scale. Why is this important? Well, if you know anything about the way I like to think about playing and teaching, you know that I like to simplify things down and make things as efficient and clear and concise as possible. This means any situation where a major pentatonic scale would be appropriate, you can also think of it as the relative minor pentatonic scale and it works exactly the same. Now you might be saying, well, that's kind of confusing. Why would you think of two different scales if they have the same sound? Well, the idea is you can focus on either the major or the minor pentatonics, whatever's easier for you in the musical situation and understand that you can apply them over both major, minor and other chords. For this video and the demonstrations I'm going to show you, I'm only going to be using the notes of C major pentatonic scale. Remember, that's the exact same as A minor pentatonic, so you can think of it either way. But personally, I'm going to think of it as C major. I'm going to be doing three separate demonstrations here of how you can use this one pentatonic scale to create a bunch of different colors and sounds. So first up, using the C major pentatonic scale, where can you use it? Well, over C major chords. I know that's Maybe pretty obvious, but maybe not. Maybe you're only thinking of full scales, major scales, and different modes of the major scale. Here we can take pentatonic scales and use them with inversions over top of different C major chords. Specifically, like a C major triad, a C major six or six nine chord, C major seven, or really any chord where the sound and color is C major. I'm now gonna improvise a bit, only using the notes of C major pentatonic, or A minor if you wanna think of it that way and I'm gonna play it over each of those three chords I just mentioned, C triad, C6, and C major seven. Each chord is gonna be four measures long, and I'm gonna loop it a bit, and I'm only gonna be thinking about the notes of that pentatonic scale and just playing them in different shapes and other non-note musical elements I'm gonna be focusing on to create a hopefully interesting solo over these chords. Check it out.
See how well that works? Once again, this way is simplifying things. You don't actually have to think of each individual chord tone or connecting them or any of that. All you're thinking of is one simple sound, in this case, the C major pentatonic sound, and I'm focusing more on the music, i.e. the non-note musical elements. Now I'm gonna go to the second category, if you will, in this demonstration, and that's gonna be minor chords, specifically A minor chords. Yes, you can think of this now as an A minor pentatonic, but I'm actually still gonna be focusing on thinking of the C major pentatonic to show you that you can use it in multiple different situations to create different sounds. So what A minor chords can you use this over? Well, you can have like an A minor triad, you can have an A minor seven chord, you can even have like an A minor seven sus four because of that note D natural in there. The one type of minor chord I would actually not use this for would be like a minor six chord, we have that natural six. So if you have an A minor six chord, you have A, C, E, F sharp. If you end up playing that C major pentatonic or A minor pentatonic, you have the note G natural in there and it's kind of a rub against that natural six. I would focus on hitting the chord tones in that case. So that's why I'm not including it here. Now I'm gonna put on a track of those three chords, A minor triad, A minor seven and A minor seven sus four. But watch this, I'm actually gonna play the exact same solo that I did over the C major chords and put that same solo over these different chords now. And I want you to hear how the color and the overall vibe changes because of the chords changing. Check this one out. Awesome as that. Once again, the point of this is that you don't have to necessarily switch how you're playing in the different ways you're thinking about it because the chords change. You could think of one set sound if you know it works over multiple different chords and because the chords are changing, that's what will change the color and the overall vibe of the solo while you're harmonically still thinking of one thing to then free you up once again to think about the non-note musical elements. Now for the final demonstration using the C major pentatonic scale, I'm gonna use it over some other chords that don't fit neatly into a category. The first chord is gonna be an F major seven chord. If you take that C major pentatonic scale and put it over F major seven, the chord tones you get are five, 13, seven, nine, and three. It's a really nice clean way of playing a major seven sound because it gets you away from playing the root and really gets into those upper extensions of the major chord without going outside of the chord. The second chord is gonna be D9 sus four or really any D sus chord. If you take that C major pentatonic scale, put it over D sus, the chord tones you get are flat seven, you get one, the root, you get nine, you get the four, which is that sus note, and the five. Just like the F major seven, this is a nice, clean, and easy way to really get the color of that D sus chord without, once again, always resorting to playing in root position. The final chord for this demonstration is gonna be my favorite application of the major pentatonic scale, and that's gonna be using the C major pentatonic over a B flat major seven, sharp 11. Once again, if you take that C major pentatonic scale, put it over B flat major, in this case, B flat major seven, sharp 11, you get the chord tones nine, three, sharp 11, 13, 
and seven. Once again, this is a really great way of playing those upper extensions of the chord, in this case, the major seven sharp 11 sound without resorting to just playing it in root position or stacking thirds or something like that. Once again, I'm gonna put on a track of these three chords, the F major seven, the D sus, and the B flat major seven sharp 11 for four measures each. And I'm once again gonna take that exact same solo I played in the beginning from the C major pentatonic sound, and I'm gonna play that over top of these chords. I want you to hear how it changes as the chords change underneath. Remember, when I was recording that initially, I wasn't thinking about these specific chords. I was just playing C major pentatonic, and now we're gonna see how it actually works and how it actually sounds over these different chords. Check this one out. How cool and easy is this? I really hope you implement this into your playing because it's a really simple way to create lots of different colors, lots of different sounds, but only think of really one thing. Now, a disclaimer on this video, this is not an exhaustive list of every use of a pentatonic scale. There are many different uses, specifically when you start combining them together, pairing them together, doing more tension and definitely some outside sounds. You can basically play a pentatonic scale over almost any chord out there but I wanted to just give you a starting point for the most basic and most common uses for it in this video, and then from there you can go off and try many different things on your own. Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried this before and how it works for you. Also, if you've never tried this before, I want you to try it and then come back, comment on this, and let me know how it's working out for you. Remember to go down in the description and grab the free PDF worksheet that goes along with this video. And also, if you haven't yet watched my free masterclass, The Best Way to Create Melodic Solos, there's a link for that down in the description as well. As always, let me know what other topics you'd like to see me cover, whether it's improvisation-based, saxophone-based, or really anything else. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.